What was I doing when I stopped? It's kind of loud on my side. How loud is it for you guys? Looks kind of loud to me. I think it isn't even, but, you know, I turned it on a bit anyway. Should I go even further? That was the wrong button. How did I forget how to play all of Banjo Kazooie in one sitting? Which one do I need more of? Maybe it's grenade eggs. Maybe I need that gold feather back. It's kind of a weird place to start you when you turn on the game. Maybe this is where I want to go. Oh, I'm going to Grunty. I'm going to Witchy World. How's this? The only gripe I have with Witchy World is the same gripe I have with most of the levels in this game. Which is the transformations are kind of a pain. I like the transformations in Kazooie, but in Tui, even though they're better transformations in a vacuum... Oh, here we go, the breasts! Kind of a manly voice, too. Boggy's wife. Sad. Groggy, soggy, and moggy. That'll probably get me a jiggy. Hamburger. Feels like I'm going all slow. Oh, I have to kill these guys. How do you kill them? That's not like that. Grenade eggs? That thing is owning me. I don't even remember how to shoot. Oh my god, it's got a fucking attack pattern for everything I can do. I'm getting thrashed. I beat him now. It's the fucking monkey. Congo's big top. That was me, I did it. Although Spab did tell you. The question mark one, let's play it. Collected a random stop honeycomb. It's not random at all. It's actually quite easy to react. How do I fire? Cool. That was pretty easy. It's very arbitrary that you need like four tickets. Can't see them yet. How did they make the fast food so gross in this game? I particularly like this guy. I love the idea this guy was literally sitting in a box because he didn't want to sell fries. Hello. Weirdos. What are you busy doing? Salty Joe's limp salty fries. Well, yeah, actually. I'll take them. <laughs> Why are the characters in this game so great? Uh, nice controller. 
How are his nuts? So this is the level where you get the split up pad. There's one right here actually. In fact this might be where you get it. Teach me to split up. This is probably the most interesting new mechanic of this game, in my humble opinion. Unfortunately, your characters are pretty boring by themselves. So far. Most of the techniques you learn in this game are actually solo techniques. Because you're already pretty well, like, versed together. Oh my god. Why is it running so slow? Benjo has some kind of unique mechanics. He's got this... Oh, I can't even swing my pack yet. And I have absolutely no commands. So Solo Banjo can't do anything at all. What about Solo Kazooie? Solo Kazooie has some things right off the bat. You got the backflip, right? Wait, do you not actually not have the backflip? You can't backflip with Kazooie Solo? I thought that was something... I thought it was just the regular Banjo backflip. Well, she can do a little flap thing that she can do alone. Whatever. These two are useless right now. You get them before you're really ready to have them, if you know what I mean. But you have to be able to split them up because they learn skills individually, so... What's his face? We'll just tell you to come back. Maybe you're together. Tell you to come back apart. It's like the skill's only for Banjo. I forget what this is. They tell your fortune, but I feel like it might hurt you, or I don't remember what it does. I guess we should do it. I think it doesn't lead to anything. Madame Grunty. Okay, so it's just like a random chance house. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Is it literally Grunty? It is. She's right here. Hmm. That would have been nice if I needed it. It'd be cool to see a list of all the things that can happen there. I like the part where that guy came back to life. Oh, this is the one who sneezes on your burger. Big Al. Did he just scratch his ass? He used to clean out the toilets. I do want him. Where do you have fries? Well, what a strange game this is. Yeah, I swear they use that same sound effect for like every enemy. It's one of the kids, I found him. Carry him. Unfortunately, carrying is not yet one of my functions. Oof. Oh, epic. Big epic. A Jinjo. The Jinjos, whoa, like, the Jinjos that are really hard to reach are almost invariably real ones. And the Jinjos you have to, like, kind of find a sign. What does it say? It's going to be something really snarky. Hi. Hmm. That wasn't snarky at all. He listed four locations for three children. Oh, 
I don't even understand the story you're telling me. Hold up. He didn't even drop anything. That's probably a Minjo, or whatever they're called. I didn't even get to see his dialogue. Okay, this thing isn't on yet. What an incredible level so far. Oh wait, the kid was found dead, I understand now. I thought he was found, like, thriving in the supermarket. And he'd just been eating food from the supermarket or something. And I was like, this is a pretty weird story. But if he was found dead, then it's a pretty weird and also sad story. find three different ways to hit it. The fuck is the third way? That actually was it. That felt so stupid. I swear I didn't remember that. I appreciate the removal of the Jiggy Jig, but it makes Jiggies feel a lot less impactful to collect. And it's weird because some of the jiggies are really hard to get and some are really easy to get. Do I have the grip grab? Yeah, I do. I don't even remember getting that. Oh, the tiny African Jojo. I feel like this isn't emulating as clean as it was last time. It's Humba Wumba. And I actually don't hear a, um... What do you call him? Lobo around. Which is like a first for this game. Hiding the Humba Wumba. Hiding the Globo somewhere not near the place where I need it. About half this level I like and the other half I hate like a theme of this whole game. He didn't even see me. Just casually walked into me. I don't even know if there's anything up here I want. There's the other one. Skill stop honeycomb. They're both skill stop. This one's easier. I shouldn't pick it up with this health. Yeah, real skillful, right? Um, I guess I'm gonna go over to that thing and hit it. It's kind of scary, though. Wait, that was actually perfect. I should have stayed hanging from it. Oh my god, I accidentally climbed up twice. Okay. I guess I'll hit this thing. Definitely a Jinjo. And that's a very obvious honeycomb piece. Oh. Alright, this is fine actually. I'm surprised I made that with a normal jump now. Uh, is that too high to jump up to? 
Maybe I was supposed to like jump from up there. Why did Rare exhaust all their talent? It's gonna be really hard for me to play the. I don't have like good analog controls right now. I have not. Why is it electric looking? I feel like I should have activated this already with Mumbo, and because I haven't, this isn't gonna be working yet. It's a shame because this is a pretty annoying place to get to. Where is it? Buttons like this that only exist in one spot of the game. Okay, this is shut. This is that one spot that I peeked into with um, the last world. So I guess I'm going down. And then I guess I'm teleporting to Wumba's wigwam. Wigwam. Sometimes it's A, sometimes it's B. Sometimes it's Z. I think it's never Z in this game. Alright, so we're gonna go into... Oops. Into here. See what we find. Epic. I don't know how to feel about the enemies that sometimes drop items and sometimes don't. Um, hello? Hmm. Is this one soggy? She's got a bee on her little her little dress thing. Cute. Bees are cute. I'm definitely sure that one of them wasn't a girl last game. <laughs> this is a banjo one, right? He didn't fuck. I skipped it. Oh, it's a Kazooie one. Okay. Why does he insult us? I don't even have an attack. Give me an attack. Oh my god, because we couldn't find her. Huh? Kazooie was the flea bag? That doesn't make any sense, she's a bird. Why wouldn't it just tell you? Or did it tell me? Don't have an attack. I'll probably get one right now. There were certain things that you probably should have just been able to do right out of the gate with the transformation, with the solo. Pack whack. Alright, this is actually a lot more interesting than it looks. Because not only is it an attack, it's kind of slow, but it is pretty big. Uh, but you can do it mid-air, and more importantly, it pauses your momentum mid-air, and then you can jump out of it. So you get like, it's like a double jump mechanic as well. The game doesn't tell you that. This is as easy as this. It's got a crack in it. Oh. They need to be split up. Classic. Kazooie retains the ability to shoot eggs alone. And Benjo does not. Kazooie also moves faster because she's in perpetual talent trot. And Banjo couldn't longer talent shot at all. 
they do things to make Benjo useful too. But generally speaking, Kazooie's probably the better one. Benjo's needed more because of his abilities. But like, you know, to control. Kazooie's a lot better. Presently, my only attack is eggs. Will I play Grunty's Revenge after this? I think I actually will. It's an isometric GBA game. A kind of weird decision of this game is that it made, um... When you split up, your HP is split between your two characters, and if you have an odd amount of health... Banjo's HP cap is 5, and Kazooie's is 4 right now. Um... I think Kazooie can do something in there solo. But when you split up, it, my 7 HP goes to 4 for Banjo and 3 for Kazooie. Okay, so this one's Kazooie solo, and the other one's Benja plus Kazooie. Running shoes. I forgot about that, Kazooie can use the shoes and Benja can't. So this is, again, part of the big thing that the game tried to do. I don't need the rules. My day was pretty good, apart from losing Bath Cup. Uh, this is part of the, th the big thing the game did to get more replay value, is it tried to have more minigame kind of things. Oh, you can't flutter. I'm locked into all my jumps. The big problem with Banjo-Kazooie in Rare's mind is that, um... Uh, oh, fuck. There wasn't enough replay value. So they added shit like this. This witchy world has quite a few of them. I don't really like any of them, to be honest. There's like one I distinctly remember in the water area that I particularly don't like. Uh, you can still jump into them while they're disappearing. There's no much... What, what point do I need? Oh fuck. Oh. I hope it's not 50. Alright, I got 50. Saucer Apparel I don't like. That's going to be probably the hardest one. I wonder if there's like... I don't remember if she tells you if there's like another reward if you do it again. I don't know if she's going to be like, oh, you can get this Cheeto page. I feel like they did a lot of kind of questionable programming stuff that they turned into mechanics at Rare. And I feel like this bag double jump was one of them. God, the bottle minigame of uh, Majora's Mask is so fucking bad. It's literally the low point of the entire game. Oh. I got cock blocked. Found uh, Mumbo yet? I've gone to almost every location in the level. 
The only one left is, um... This volcano area. Shall we do the dive of death? Is there anything in it that you get for actually diving? I feel like no. I could have gotten the double air by now, actually. Oh, this is locked. I need a globo to open this up. There's a jiggy right there. Some jiggies are such a pain to get, and some are just sitting out in the open. It's so weird in this game. In Benjo Kazooie, none of the jiggies are very difficult to get. But, like, look at Boggy's kids. Versus, like, this one, where I just have to, like, cross this fucking narrow bar. Which I think I've already failed at. Cool. The lag whenever I'm about to pick something up. Epic. What's after this? Goldeneye? Should I do a Goldeneye 007 playthrough? 00 Agent? I like remember that being pretty hard. I might really struggle on some levels. I remember control being a nightmare. The game is actually a lot nicer than most people give it credit for. Like there are a lot of levels where Natalia literally can't be hurt. Except by explosions. This is the jail cell. Remember finding the dinosaur's kids? Why is that such a bitch? Here's one of the kids. What does he want? Do I have to hit him? All in the interest of collectibles. I forget their names, George and something. How do I unlock this? Grenade egg? So let's see what we got here. We got... Weird Killer Alien, Mighty Evil Dinosaur, and Ancient Bearded Camel. Let's get the Weird Killer Alien first. Perfect. This dinosaur is actually from like one of the later levels. Alright, we'll find Shuffington. This is like one of the most complicated jiggies in the whole game, right here. This lady has like four kids or three kids or something, and that's one of them. You have to rescue him from this world. Her? And the, here's our favorite. It's fucking... Gobi. He promised that he, he would be in the lava world. I guess he got lost here. Didn't even get a chance to pound on his back. Oh, I got a kid in there. And a Jinjo. Getting nine Jinjos to get a Jiggy. This feels like it could be a place in Donkey Kong 64. What a weird little location this all was. Oh. And I didn't find a single Globo, and I feel like I need a Globo to progress. Like, what the hell? Oh, I didn't realize this was this dangerous. Was there really nothing over there? I didn't see anything. I don't know where a Globo is, but I think I can't unlock this area that goes to Mumbo without Wumbo's Wigwam. Paying the bill. I'm definitely in the afterlife right now. Alright, wherever the Globo is, maybe it's in her wigwam. I didn't even consider that. Maybe I just have to g enter it. 
Oh, there's a door there as well. Okay, so we got three separate things we can do in this little area. That one, it looks like I pretty much finished it, unless I need to go talk to the dinosaur after I get Shuffington. Oh, this is... this is the train station. I don't think I have any food. care where he is. I care about where he's... how to get him here. Do you actually have to... I thought you could call him. Do I actually have to drive him here? Okay, there's something up here. Is that my button? Yeah, there it is. I like the part where it wouldn't let me attack that guy. Banjo has a lot of abilities, eventually, that are required for, like, checkpoints. Item checks. Skill checks. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I didn't get the item either. Like, Banjo has the ability to carry things around in his backpack. And you have to ferry... St like, everything you ever have to ferry around, you have to do like that. How does this call him? They went really hard for the in inter level connectivity. You can probably enter any level and get out any other level. That's not true. I don't know if the uh, underwater level is connected to anything. Jolly Roger Lagoon. So will the dinosaur come automatically, or do I have to go talk to it again? Because that's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, cool. Nothing I can do now. I still didn't find a Globo. I love how that's like one third of a Jiggy. Everything I just did with the train and the free and the dinosaur. And it's like the rest of the Jiggy is all on an entirely different level. They really encourage you very hard in this game to unlock all the levels quickly. They don't want you going through the levels one by one, getting everything. And they show that by making a lot of things you can't... Oh, I forgot, he like shoots where you're going. Surprisingly difficult mechanic. Okay, can I climb one of these? You might need the spring shoes or something. Can I like hang off the edge? I don't have the greatest controller right now. Okay, cool, I did it. There's the spring shoes. Which, oh, those were suction cup shoes. I guess I'm going in here. Mr. Monkey. <laughs> Where do you learn that? Space zone. He didn't even get offended by that. I've needed that for like three separate things in this area alone. A 
At least he was kind enough to tell me where to line it. I don't see any gem jars here. Epic. That attack didn't even exist in, um... Kazooie. It's not on top of this, is it? That's not even a thing I can climb. Where in the fu- Oh! Was this always here and I just missed it? bad. Kind of a questionable design, you guys will see. For me, it's the tiny dinosaur penis. Alright, last time I played this, I played it on an N64 controller, and I still had a pretty hard time with this guy. Near the start. Strange wobbly inflatable thing. It's supposed to be the spot where he fills, I guess. Like, actual balloons have that. But he's not an actual balloon. He's like a... ...character in a video game. I think I'm already good for both of these. Where's the flight pad? Holy shit, this area is huge. I think there would be a bunch of flight pads, right? Am I not supposed to... Maybe I'm just supposed to shoot him, first of all. Got one. Alright, so... He puts some kind of wacka thing on the ground, which will theoretically attack me. I try and shoot him. Now it becomes an air boss battle. Oh fuck. I hit him actually. It's more it's hard to get like the middle zones. Did I actually get both of those? I think I did. You still retain all the same flight controls. Bounce off him. Thank God. Have to get behind him for some of these. Yeah, that would be a miracle shot. I didn't even hit him. The other one's on his face, maybe. Um, cut that out. Did I get him? That hit him? Good lord. Game's taking pity on me. I got him too. Got one on his back and one on his front. One on his nose. Um, okay. 
Is he getting smaller? Because that'd be a nice mechanic to add difficulty. Oh, he's getting bigger again. Another one down. This is going pretty swimmingly. It's kind of mean that they don't give you infinite uh, eggs for this. But I'll live. Turn my way, asshole. One egg, huh? That's all I need. To only shoot it when I'm sure I'll hit. Turn around, face me, you cretin. Oh my god, it's doing the very opposite. Looks like he's avoiding me. This one egg, I got my hopes and dreams riding on this thing. That's not good. Oh, I'm up. Okay, well, that's a good time to go this Megs. I appreciate the eggs in this area are locked into being um, grenade. Good design. However, infinite eggs also would have been nice. Kind of a miracle shot, wasn't it? Also optimistic. I got him. That was actually a lot easier than I remember. I think I nearly died the first time I played him. Okay, that little thing was just there so we could fly off like that. However, it's my headcanon that that's his penis. I appreciate bosses. This game has at least one boss per level, I'm pretty sure. Where is the Jiggy? That's where he died. Yeah, I think they did. Fun little arena, fun little boss. Nothing bad to say. Now I've got to go back to that tent and get that one, and then the two just sitting on top. Remember Crazy Frog had just a penis? Anyone remember that? Why did they design it like that? It's certainly mem memorable. First of all, there was a dank early internet meme called Crazy Frog. And they did a, there was like a cover of the Axel Foley theme. And for whatever reason, Crazy Frog's design had just a penis. It wasn't sexual, or anything, I admit. Fifty points. Roll schmoles. These mechanics are actually quite fun. Golden eggs means infinite. Cool. I'm gonna never let go of the egg shooting button, even though it's super irritating to listen to non-stop. The blue ones float up faster. Good game design, I suppose. This reminds me very much of Mega Man Legends. Mega Man Legends had a lot of this. Or in one particular area had a lot of this. Oh. I can't see anything, damn it. I don't think I'm doing that well. I need to be doing better than this in order to win. Ah, oh, I missed it. That three would have been nice. Oh, fuck. Got it. I need 50. Alright, cool. That was close. Got a few more for good measure. Yeah, Rare likes that stuff, doesn't don't they? Well, this game was literally made by the devs of DKC 1 and 2, I think. Why doesn't it just give me the Jiggy? The devs of DKC 3 made Donkey Kong 64.
generally I prefer DKC3 to 1 and 2, to be 100% honest. And generally I prefer Donkey Kong 64 to Tui, although I think Kazooie is probably better. I enjoy replaying Donkey Kong 64 more, even though I acknowledge it's a much worse game. It's absolutely definitively a much worse game. Alright, next question. Where the fuck is a Globo? I've only got one with Wigworm to check. I'm out of other places to look. Ah, gotta climb this. Otherwise, I've gotta just walk to a warp, which would take probably a lot longer. Help! I mean, my long-term goal of playing this is to eventually play ukulele. All I know is there's a snake named Chowser, and that's hilarious. And the game is very big. If there's no Globo in here, I'm gonna fucking flip a bitch. I hear him. You really need help finding this thing. I found it. Why is Humble so huge? I think they wanted her model to be easy to make out while you're standing on the other end of the thing from her. Because they need the puddle to be big for gameplay mechanics. Especially when you're the snowball. Or the T-Rex. So in order to make her big, like in order to make it so you could see her from over here, they made her huge. I think this door only exists... How do I do it? There we go. B button honks. This door only exists so you can get back up here. The van is a very interesting transformation, let's put it like that. So first of all, you're invincible. So enemies can't hurt you. Which is kind of fun, I gotta admit. And secondly, you can pay for things. Did I have to open this? Because I didn't even see how to open this. Did I have to just shoot it? Can I open it now by ramming it? No. I think I did have to open it too. Hundred thousand jiggy watts. That's a cleverer joke than it seems to be. Gigawatt? After, like, um... After, uh... Gigabyte became a really common word in, Ameri in English parlance. Um... Giga became the accepted pronunciation of G-I-G-A. And now that's all anyone says. But until recently, it was either Giga or Jiga. Both were correct. Okay, I guess I have to activate that. So where it says Gigawatts, it's because Gigawatts would be the actual G-I-G-A. Manager transformation that literally only exists to gate. I don't remember if there's any reason to take this van into there. Gruntilda is not that bad of a villain in either Banjo game. She's like semi-cooperative. It's almost like a gag of the game. Okay, I'm glad I brought this in here. Cheeto page. She's just a very mild villain as they go. I 
Can I still see your aura icon? I can't use that. Oh, I've got to get up there so low. Here's Mumbo. Is there a Globo right there? Yep. And I got my warp. So I need to go back to being the van again. Oh, I can just drive through lava. I shouldn't be surprised. I think I've now been to every location in the game. I mean, in the level approximately. It's kind of bullshit that they're making me um, untransform and then retransform later. I'm not even sure I'd go as far as saying Gruntilda's ineffectual. You know what I mean? She's just a very comedic villain, I guess. Like, she could have just fought you right out of the fucking gate. She didn't have to run a game show. Theoretically, she told my fortune just a second ago. Yo. Yo. In every way that Tui and Kazooie are different, I like Kazooie more. I thought the split-up pads were there. Guess they're over here. I like how you can't see the spots. You have to be standing in specific positions to give control to Kazooie. And they're like marked by these glowy things. I understand why they did it like that, but you can't see the spots. So I don't actually have to get up there fast or anything. So I find it kind of funny these shoes are here. Ow. Oh, a nice jump. I'm gonna die. I'm like for sure gonna die. There doesn't appear to be anything, any particular reason for me to be going fast. This is called a Helter Skelter. Did you guys know that? Um... I forgot, because we get a whole bunch of extra air on those. Because normally she jumps with Banjo on her back. Huh? I thought it was a door. Helter Skelters are these big spiral slides that you go down. And that's what they're called in like British English. And American English doesn't really have a name for them because it's not as much of a cultural thing. So when the Beatles song Helter Skelter came out, the word became, like, disorganized. That was, like, the new definition of the word. And it's because the song itself sounds kind of, like, disorganized. Kind of a fun little word origin there. You have Globo? What on earth are these Globos actually doing? Does Mumbo get more HP as you go through the game, I wonder? I'm aware of both things that Mumbo activates are in space zone. Huh? <laughs> Was there something Mumbo did in the volcano too? No. He might do something at the start of the level where Miss Boggy was. 
Good thing I got the Jinjo on top of this before I activated it. The Globo popped out of me. I feel like so badly they wanted to have a Gib animation after that. I just feel it. They wanted a Jet Force Gemini style explosion. Why is this thing got this little... Does that do anything? Is it purely for flavor text? Feels like it's something out of Rocket. Rocket is actually the most underrated N64 game by far. I like it more than Banjo. I threw another Globo away. Where'd that one come from? Mumbo's a nice guy. He charges you one Globo and then uses two. Rocket is a better game than Banjo Tooie and maybe even Banjo Kazooie. Space Station Silicon Valley. I know that game. Very curious one. I feel like this whole game I'm just jumping through hoops. That's how I feel playing Benjo Tooie. I mean, you're doing that in Kazooie as well, but it's a lot more obvious in this game. Can't do this until you can do that. Can't do that until you do this. So on and so forth forever. I feel like I should have gotten the spring shoes and or suction shoes by now. The suction shoes might be grunty industries. I actually feel like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, like... I didn't play it that much, I only played it a little bit. But I feel like it was a pretty cool game and it's surprising to me that... I mean, it really is just the properties. If it had more, like, characters that anyone gave a shit about. I feel like that would have really been nice. A more catchy title probably would have been better, too. Do I have to be the... Yeah. I have to be the truck. Can't climb this side or that side. How the hell are you supposed to climb up this? the idea of like different amounts of meter and the more meter you have the better supers you can do and the better supers you can do the more practically you can land them that's all like super cool but i don't know how functional it is i think i puzzled over this one for a while and all you have to do is just jump onto it i was like because you slide down it all right you guys ready to see a fall to end all falls was actually not too bad. I think this game is a lot better about avoiding fall damage than Kazooie was. 
I'm seriously considering Gold Knight 007. I do have to play um, the rest of Riviera, and I would like to play Banjo. Uh, what's it called? Grunty's Revenge. Sincerely, the best way to play this game... Is this even going to do anything? It did. The best way to play this game is to, um... Go to as many levels as possible and pick up as many skills as possible and not worry about, like, collecting everything. I like the part where my camera got stuck. Oh, is that another Mumbo Activate thing? Motherfucker, dude. So I've got to go to Mumbo again, and I've got to go to the, um... To be the car again. This is what I hate about this game. There's another place I have to be the car. And I thought there would be, like, a... What's his face? Jam Jar is here. But I don't see him. This. Low. That's my reward for getting up here. It looks like a whole bunch of nothing. Probably one of them leads to stuff. Probably that one. I like how the camera kind of locks me in a way that I can't really use it. There's a Jinjo up there, which I can't get to because I don't have the shoes that stick to walls. I could just leave the level go to the next one. I've done everything I need to do here. I even got a few jiggies. Uh, I'm gonna forget to be the car again. Let's at least go and do the car stuff. Where's my fucking nearest warp? Why are they all in the middle of nowhere in this level? Witchy World is not a very great level, is it? Grunty Industry simultaneously has the best and worst level design in the game. It's very satisfying when you're done with it, but it's very, like, hard to learn. I forgot just how many abilities you need immediately that you don't get until later levels. That's so annoying. It's like every single time you need an ability. I have mixed feelings because it does kind of make you relish the abilities when you get them, which Banjo-Kazooie didn't do. Basically, you didn't have a need for the ability until you got the ability. So it never felt like anything when you picked up a new ability. It was just like, oh, okay. Boomer shooter like Sin or Half Life. I've never heard of Sin, to be honest. Um, Half Life could eventually happen. I think I did stream that once already, actually. You can't pick up health from this thing? I could do a stream of Painkiller. Do you like that game? Painkiller is actually one of my favorite first person shooters. It's got very arena style controls. I used to really be into arena shooters. I like the Unreal 2002. Painkiller's got very classic movement. It's like a it's like a love letter to people who used to like arena shooters. Very underrated. 2004. That was between those two numbers. I promise. I've never played a dot hat game in my life, nor have I seen any of the anime. Mm. 
this one requires you have to get this. Oh no way! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? How obnoxious! In order to get into this door, you have to have opened it with Mumbo, right? In order to open it with Mumbo, you have to have gotten this this little vehicle. So you have to transform into this vehicle to get unlock Mumbo. You have to use Mumbo to open that door. You have to go back in with the vehicle to get uh, to pay for it, and then you have to go back in with Banjo to like play the game, and you have to play it three times. That's so stupid when you just look at it in a vacuum. Why'd they design it like that? There's just a lot of forced backtracking just to get that jiggy. Why couldn't I just like, once the door was open, I didn't need to pay? I guess I need to ride the top thing again. Weird that that's the way up here. Oh, I didn't even need to go up here. Still kind of weird though. I never played Planet Side 2, but two of my friends are real big into it. Fortunately, I already did this, so I theoretically have a fast way through it. Uh, I've streamed Resident Evil 4 and 5, I think. I don't know if I ever did 5, actually, on stream. I started streaming 6 with Apocalypse, and it was actually super fun, but we only did it the one time. We got like halfway through Jake and Cherry, and we just stopped. Alright, so this thing I did last level is finally done. fucking me. How did I miss giving him power? Where's the place where I give him power? This isn't a door. That just gets me a jiggy thing. Did I have to go through those double doors behind him? I jumped down now. That turned on just this. And in there, it's my, like, behind me. That didn't do anything. Going into there. Where the fuck do I power it on? I've got an i7, and my graphics card, I, s I guess, is a little old now. It's a 970, GeForce 970. I really don't like this level. I remember that I didn't like it, but like it's a lot worse than I remember. It makes it seem like I need to be Mumbo. Let's go back to Space Sun actually. Because I can play the game there. I knew I would spend a lot of time complaining about it while playing it. Maybe I'm giving it a hard rap. But I've just failed to do anything meaningful for the last like 15 minutes. So just collect an item. And it's only gonna get worse once we get to like... The ice fire level. Twinkies alone. So all they do is just impede you. They don't have their own scores. It's really not hard. What's the number I was going for? 60. If they went for the dots themselves, they'd be a lot harder. But instead they just kind of slowly follow me. So I can just do a circle. 
I think I was going for 60. I'm already there. Cool, you can overpower him. That's probably in case he corners you. Whoa, I like broke him. This is such a nuisance of a Jiggy to get. It's unreal. I don't want to do this three times in a row, let alone come back sometime in the future and do it again. Rare is really good with the designs of these kind of... 50. Villainous, annoying characters. Two isn't really any worse than one, to be honest. Oh, you stopped some from getting that one. Alright, two is a bit worse than one. Getting cornered, I've got to push two away. Which is a lot slower and more obnoxious. Fifty, I think it was, but I'll get sixty anyway. It saves your score, so you can try for higher scores. But who's going to, like, turn on banjo and be like, oh, I really want to try fucking number two again because I only got 61, but I, I feel like I could get 70. There's no one. It's a non-existent market. Can we just start? If I wanted to get a burrito from Chipotle, I would need to go in the next 40 minutes. I just wanted to tell everyone that. This would actually be insanely hard if they went for the blinkly twinklies themselves. This would be almost unwinnable. Oh, they prevented me from getting both of those. What was the score I was going for? I didn't listen to it, so... Resident Evil 6 is actually a game I'd really like to play through on stream. The thing about it is it's got a lot of mechanics that most people don't know about. Because the game doesn't do a very good job telling you what the mechanics are. This also means the mercenary mode is very good. What Mario Party game is the most optimized to make you lose your friends? I've asked that to a few people now. Some people say 1, some people say 4, I think. I only played 1, 2, and 3. Which are, I think, the 3 and 64 ones. One was probably the most obnoxious mechanically that I remember. next to a door, I can't tell. I feel like I don't have any food. What's the food I have? Oh, you have that many... You have that many, uh, hamburgers and fries? That's really weird, because they don't... I don't think they do anything. I remember I basically crucified myself. Um, spinning a stick in Mario Party 1. 
Some of the meanest gameplay design I've ever seen in any video game. I'm not very good at that. And more importantly, it required a lot of, from the player. Damn the sub. 29 months, 25 months. That's ages. I think Mario Party 3 had like a mini one player Mario Party where you like picked a partner and it was like super fun and cool. And I remember really liking it. High IQ player right here. So am I unlocking Pterodactyl Land right now? Would you believe that Pterodactyl Land actually has a dinosaur named Pterodactyl? Well, I think his name is Pterodactyl. The game just calls him Terry, and he's a Pterodactyl. I knew that wasn't right, but I tried it anyway. Oh my god, I didn't do that. He gives you so much time. I've thought about a Gex 2 playthrough. Which is Gex into the Gecko for the record. I there are a lot of Gex levels that I truly just don't like. I went back and tried to play that. My brother called me on the phone. He was like, "Hey, Bath." He called me, not Bath. He's like, "Hey, I'm at a I'm at a flea market and they're selling Gex Gex into the Gecko N64." for um I think it was one dollar do you want it and I was like uh yeah I do so we got it and he brought it home yeah let me do it again It's not even really a steal. That game's worth one dollar. So this is Grunty Industries. I definitely like Grunty Industries more than I like Pterodactyl Land. Pterodactyl Land is probably my least favorite level. It really, really ups the amount of like backtracking you have to do. It's very unfun. could go. Gex doesn't have backtracking, usually. When you get the... You can have a little bit of backtracking if you're going for the the remote that you just have to collect a whole bunch of things. Because that won't eject you from the level when you get it, right? So you have to like get that and then go to like whatever remote you were actually going to go and get. Snowboard Kids is a fucking sick game, and Snowboard Kids 2 is even sicker. Those games are perfect. They have great music, they've got great gameplay. Snowboard Kids 2 actually, like, had... Now it's quite rare, I think. I don't know what happened. Maybe there were never that many copies and it got a cult following. But, um, now I think Snowboard Kids 2 is, like, quite expensive to buy. I don't remember Half Fire Peak being that deep in the game. What's the last level? Go to Jolly Roger Bay, I guess. Jolly Roger Lagoon. I've never even played an SMT game. I played. No. 
I don't remember if the game I played was an SMT or a Persona. But I played one of one of the games. It was an SMT game, I think. It might have been... Four? But I played it for literally two seconds. I don't think it was four. It was handheld. What percent of games are handheld? It was DS. Oh, I don't even have enough. Strange Journey? Okay, how do I split up though? Uh -huh. Double jumping is just fun. My new egg. It's ice eggs. They're okay. Oh, camera angle change almost had me kill myself. I don't know if there's a single reason I would possibly call the train here. But let's open up the train anyway. I'm glad I got that mute in time. I sneezed and it was so loud. I was watching an old archive I did. I looked for a playthrough of FE Girls and it seems that my playthrough is like one of the only ones. Which I was sad to find. But also happy. I wanted to see like a Fire Emblem expert play through it, you know? What the fuck is this? Kind of weird having a mumbo in the overworld. I don't have a globo. You have to get an overworld globo to give it to him. But I thought the only overworld globo was the one that is involved with Humba Wumba. Per that transformation. The spoiler transformation. There's a new warp. I'm happy to get one of them. Do I have to actually get into it? Okay, it's green. To the lagoon. So actually, I have mixed feelings on this level. I think I liked it. Despite being a water level in a game full of levels I hate. I really like this opening little area a lot with all the houses. It's actually really cool. I'm not going in yet. There's Jollies. People have said some things about Jolly. I'm inclined to agree. I think he is more than a little gay coded.
I still wouldn't get in that water. But whatever. I will never play Conquer on stream. I don't even like the game. Are you real? I think I'm actually in ha uh, half fire peak right now. Despite the fact that um, Grunty Industries would make a lot more sense. We can look through that thing and then we'll be able to see where I am. Okay, now it is Grunty Industry. Kinda cool, the Grunty Industry is like pouring like fucking toxic waste into this other level. That's just him respawned, right? Yeah. I don't have any problems with Conqueror's humor, I just don't like the gameplay. Glover, uh I have I'm so mixed on whether Glover is a good game. That's probably the hardest call ever. Glover, Glover simultaneously exists as a very good and very shitty game. It's in like this fucking mixed state of quality. Glover unmistakably has good controls when you're playing as Glover solo. That's the thing that really makes it so confusing. Where's the one with three arms? He was playing in the fucking um, Toxic Waste and he's mutated now. Wait, so where's my reward? Is it too cold? I, like, wasn't reading. Say that again. Do I have to shoot fire eggs into it? Grenade eggs seem like they would heat it up too, to be honest. Okay, I thought that would do it, but it didn't do it. Is it that? I didn't really think that would do anything. I was optimistic. We'll come back here later. This area is actually extremely cool. I think you actually don't need to aerate this water. Which is absolutely wild to me. Like, you can do the entire level without ever fucking... There's a thing you can do with Mumbo in this level to make it so there's unlimited water. Uh... I think I come back here with Solo Banjo, perhaps. Do I get hatch? Is that here or pterodactyl land? Well, oh, that reminds me, I've got to be playing through the um, Ace Attorney series. God damn it. I've got all these fucking Let's Plays on hold. Ace Attorney 2 is an actual good game, and it's still the worst game in the series. Despite being good. This is a Kazooie ability. Hopefully it's Hatch, but I don't know what it is. Kazooie's missing a lot of abilities. Fran is cute, but what about um, Child Fran from uh, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations 1? How do you feel about that? How do you, be, how do you feel about Fran when she's like 6? Grenade eggs? They, not all eggs are created equal. Clockwork eggs and grenade eggs get way more love than all the other ones. Cute and funny. Good reply. Give me a 
this girl. Wing whack. Ah. That's something. I do need it. Yeah, she has a riding crop when she's a kid, but it's a whip when she's an adult. So, Kazooie's attack also has a rather unique mechanic to it. I feel like I can't make this with Kazooie, but I'm going to try. Yeah, it looks like Kazooie can't do this either. It's going to be solo banjo, maybe. So Wing Whack keeps you level all the time you're doing it, and you can do it before or after the flight. So it gives Kazooie some really crazy like lateral movement midair. So it's distinct. That's what I really like about it. It's distinct from Banjo's double jump. And yet it still offers a unique thing that helps Kazooie's movement. Here's Mumbo. This looks high enough. I wonder if Banjo can grip grab solo. Since it's like him doing it. I didn't know PS Persona 2 was even supposed to be a good game. Alright, this is the thing that really fucked me up with this level. I don't remember if there's exactly as many the blues as you need. Or what. Well, I guess I'm going this way now. Some of the SMT games are super old, right? Like, super old. I exploded his head. Top 10 anime deaths. Wow, if I wanted to get a Chipotle burrito, I would now have only have 17 minutes to get it. And I'd have to get there. I'm just casually bringing this up to anyone who cares. Whoa, what's this? Skull? Beach? Beach? Skull? I have no recollection of that. Isn't there a wall I can break here? Might be that one. I think it is. One of these walls you can destroy. You you know because the other side shows it being all boarded up and shit. I thought it was that. I got eggs. Well, we'll go inside and then we'll look. If I want to get real food that I can enjoy for the rest of today. Okay, maybe I destroy it from in here. Yeah, there we go. It would have been a lot better if you could see the crack through there and then you just had to destroy the wall, I feel. Maybe not. Maybe that would have been a lot worse, actually. Damn, listening to people argue about SMT. That's level so cool. No complaints. So what's my reward for coming in here? Whoa. I'm in... No, I'm... Uh, this looks like something Kazooie has to do. And not only that, it looks like something Kazooie has to do with Glide. Which I don't have. And there's something I need Kazooie's, like, uh, tackle to open up. And I have an aerolated this water, and I definitely need it for that. Alright, I'm actually mad that I just opened this area because there's a whole bunch of shit I can't do. 
close the grip grab wall for a sec. Why am I playing this game if I just complain about it? What if I get to the Chipotle and they're out of um, cheese and guacamole? What if they're out of barbacoa? Oh, Jolly's here! It's the lady I have to rescue. Alright, let's let's observe Jolly and his mannerisms. Oh. Partner. <laughs> Kazooie. I can actually say no to this. I like how it's yeah and nah. Um, but you don't even need to pay him because you can just destroy the door. <laughs> Probably more than two balloons. We'll never find out though. I appreciate the game lets you do that. I'm rapidly running out of time to go to Chipotle if I want Chipotle. It takes me like five minutes to get there. So here's probably the most curious thing in the entire game. This guy. They really have fun with this room. This is the guy who was going to be the last boss of the game that Banjo-Kazooie ended up being. It was going to be like a, a kid and pirates, but ne it ended up being a barren bird and a witch. So they made the model for this guy, and they didn't use it at all, so they just got him here. He's just a character in Tui. He's an NPC. He doesn't do anything. There's no Jiggy associated with him. And in this room, you have... He, there was portraits of him in um, the previous game. In uh, So there was Sharkbait Island, right? Which was the little island which was shown to have an egg in it in the, the end of the last game. And then this game has the picture of the egg, and then it's got the island, the whatever, Jolly Roger Bay, whatever this level's called. I don't remember. Literally got it, like, just sitting there, the picture of it. Second level of Banjo-Kazooie. Treasure Trove Cove. And... Where else? Oh, there's the, the blown-up Shark Bed Isle. So it's just purely messing with the people that, you know, that there was a secret in the previous game, which the la the ending of the previous game told us that was a secret, but there actually wasn't. And then it's just like a fucking full room of stuff trying to fucking bait people into trying to figure it out. Alright, I better go like now if I want a burrito, but let's take a quick look at this. Salty dumplings toad in the hole, semen surprise. What do you guys think of that? Can I get some opinions on this menu? Salty dumplings toad in the hole, semen surprise. I think the game saves all the time, but I'm going to do save and quit anyway. Anyway, I'm going to probably be back and stream some more once I'm done eating my breedable. But for now, I'm just going to go get some food. <laughs>